good evening everyone so welcome back to our saturday evening webinars hosted by the india exposition mart in new delhi greater noida and uh, uh, we are bringing various aspects for discussion and today is yet another very important day for us where we are trying to discuss about all that which is uh, believed and taken as the best of preventive medicine also called as lifestyle medicine and i am talking to you about uh, naturopathy and yogic sciences today in the era of covid uh, all of us have understood one thing which is prevention is better than cure so that's what uh, all naturopaths have been talking for ages mahatma gandhi promoted this concept for uh, uh, such long time and established the national institute of naturopathy in pune and the various indian and western uh, naturopaths uh, tried uh, propagating it as a concept today to uh, discuss and to uh, explore this idea of bringing yoga and naturopathy as lifestyle medicine we have such eminent personalities from the field of uh, yoga and naturopathy and before that uh, to make this webinar uh something enjoyable to all of us i have the host uh, mukesh, mukesh gupta ji uh, mukesh gupta ji is one of the uh, leading personalities representing as the director at the india exposition mart and uh, mukesh gupta ji uh, has been uh, uh, guiding force he has been the strongest support for the promotion of uh, uh, indian traditional healing methods and systems of uh, medicine so uh, before we move on to the actual webinar request mukesh gupta ji uh, to give a opening remark thank you so much uh, dr manjunath ji uh, for your very kind words and the introduction uh, uh, really appreciated and namaskar to all the dignitaries and participants it is really indeed a pleasure to have such an eminent members on our panel today Uh, for the 14th webinar of ayurveda expo uh, which is the world assembly on ayurveda yoga and naturopathy today we have uh, with us dr uh, raghavendra rao he is director central council for research in yoga and naturopathy ministry of ayush uh, government of india then professor dr k satyalakshmi director national institute of naturopathy pune an autonomous body under the ministry of ayush government of india then we have dr maravlan narayan swami he is the principal government yoga and nature care college chennai tamil nadu government and then we have dr uh, prashant shetty a very uh, prominent personality a uh, principal of sdm college of naturopathy and yogic sciences karnataka which is uh, india's first college of naturopathy and yogic sciences affiliated to rajiv gandhi university of health sciences and recognized by the government of karnataka and the moderator of today's webinar is uh, uh, you know he is so well known in the in in this segment dr manjunath and k manjunath rather he is director anveekshan and the school of yoga and natural pathic medicine vyasa university member central advisory indian naturopathy and yoga graduate medical association he is a member of the steering committee for ayurveda expo as one of the directors of the india expo center in mart let me have an opportunity to introduce it as india's first state of the art infrastructure for exhibition and mart at greater noida delhi ncr india expo center and mart is spread over 58 acres of land and has built the complex of 2.5 million square feet area it has the pride in holding some of the most prestigious shows exhibitions and conferences since it commenced operations nearly 15 years back some most recent noteworthy events have been auto expo print pack UNCCD Asian Development Bank and FDI World Dental Congress the idea of Ayurveda Expo was conceived by 
our guruji dr hr nagendra and our chairman shri rakesh kumar ji it was executed at india exposition mart at the international level to benefit the mankind under guruji's blessings and guidance in 2019 the first edition of ayurveda expo received humongous participation from ayush industry in fact the international footfall was more than 1000 which is a very large participation for ayush exhibition sector this time in 2020 ayur yog expo is likely to be held in october as we all know the ongoing pandemic has caused deep distress in our lives which is much beyond the financial issues hence today's topic covid 19 and increased relevance of yoga and naturopathy is most relevant in the circumstances i am glad to share that we have received more than 1000 registrations for this webinar from 17 countries i therefore look forward to the views and guidance of our eminent panelists on that topic so let us start the webinar thank you so much thank you mukesh ji <coughs> as i was mentioning uh, today marks uh, probably many first uh, one such first is uh, bringing such legendary personalities of uh, yoga and naturopathy together uh, we have with us as mentioned by mukesh ji uh, two uh, senior most personalities who have uh, come with the naturopathy background with uh, the very first naturopathy college of the country which offered a four years uh, diploma in naturopathy program uh, dr manavalan and dr satya lakshmi so both of them are not just the seniors in the field but they are actually the guiding spirit so today we look upon if you really want to follow any conventional traditional naturopathy uh, we have a tradition of telling that uh, please meet uh, any of our senior most nd practitioners because they have in their blood following that conventional naturopathy what everybody talk about we have along with that uh, we have uh, dr uh, prashant shetty dr prashant shetty is once again one of the senior most persons as far as uh, 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 the bnys graduates are concerned from the first ever batch of bnys from the stm college and he has created many uh, such revolutionary things uh, for uh, yoga and naturopathy with respect to education clinical practice as well as outreach and uh, we have dr uh, raghavendra rao uh, who probably is the youngest of the whole uh, uh, lot of panelists today but uh, he is holding uh, one of uh, uh, those offices which act as guiding spirit for uh, uh, research in yoga and naturopathy which is central council for research and uh, yoga and naturopathy so we follow the format of today's uh, webinar as uh, we always do we will have uh, individual presentations for 10 minutes duration from each panelist followed by a uh, cross dialogue and discussion and uh, we will move finally to answering questions from various uh, uh, i mean coming from the audience uh, as individual questions so first i would like to uh introduce in uh, today's presentation uh dr satya lakshmi whose slides are uh, put already uh, dr satya lakshmi is as i mentioned one of the senior most naturopaths uh very dedicated and uh, hard to the core of naturopathy heading uh the most important naturopathy institution national institute of naturopathy in pune and uh, the contributions are several uh, since she has taken over that position as director uh, today if you go to nin pune uh, it is the most vibrant uh, place for uh, naturopathy and most of the interns would like to learn uh, that something which is very important for them to learn from nin so we have the privilege of uh, having uh, dr uh, satyalakshmi 
and uh, request uh, uh, Dr. Satyalakshmi to give her opinion through her presentation on this concept of uh, philosophical mornings of yoga and naturopathy. Dr. Satyalakshmi, please. Can we have uh, Dr. Satyalakshmi unmuted? Yeah, madam, you can go ahead. So it's a yes. privilege and I would like to listen from you. Those important concepts of yeah. uh, making yoga, yeah. naturopathy, the most sorted system of medicine today. Yes. Yeah. I thought I will speak more naturopathy. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you, but uh, we can't see your presentation. Do we have any presentation here? Yes, yes. But uh, there is a technical snag. Uh, NIC is unable to provide it of uh, internet. So there is a problem, but I will uh, quickly go through. Uh, uh, yeah, should I? Yes, yes, madam. Please go on. I mean, it can be, uh, you can go, uh, go over. Yeah. Uh, we will hear the audio, no issues at all. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think yeah, they, naturopathy can be taken as the most recent. Yeah. Go on, go on. Please go on. Yeah. Uh, the system of naturopathy can be seen as the most recent yet most aged. And it evolved over a period of time, unlike other systems of medicine, wherein uh, there is a person or a cult or any one individual giving a treatise based on which a system developed. Whereas naturopathy, it evolved over a period of time. It came from common man and also medical professionals who differed with the existing health solutions that were prevailing in late 18th century until early 19th century. So they differed on one aspect that the cause and cure are both are seeing as something external to human being. So they were not comfortable with this idea. They understood that something is missing in this paradigm of, you know, uh, and, uh, thinking that the disease is coming from outside. So they had a debated and repeatedly challenged the germ theory that was prevailing at that time and came up with this idea of unity of disease and unity of cure. Hello. Please go on. Hear you. Go on. Yeah. Okay. Then uh, that's where the idea of bacteria is secondary. And the primary cause of disease is in the soil, that is human body's own body and mind. So there is no fear of, and one need not uh, worry or prepare oneself to this kind of external influences in controlling germs. So what is needed is to prepare the body to the onslaught of continuous germs, whether pathological or otherwise. So these were some of the uh, lessons 
even today in covid is teaching us in covid 19 what we are experiencing looks like uh, <clears throat> we have some technical issue is and we are also seeing people with multi organ failure and death so there are several layers to this covid 19 yeah yeah go on go on yes yeah so the bottom line is tackling diseases epidemics for that matter pandemics what is needed is not just medical professionals treating patients but more importantly administrators police municipal sanitation machinery voluntary organizations in addition to doctors and nurses they are all working simultaneously to tackle a disease so this is exactly what uh, naturopaths have been talking about so medical professions need to go beyond their restricted or imagined scope of activity they need to think creatively and mobilize people's responsibility to their health by constantly motivating them to do the needed things to preserve protect and enhance the natural immunity according to linlar he says you just have to maintain ordinary cleanliness and maintain good vitality keep your blood and tissues clean keep eliminative organs active and have a positive and fearless attitude and the last one that is to have fearlessness and positive attitude as the most important one in keeping one's immunity what we naturopaths known it as vitality so so it came to india is a, a very uh, the story is quite interesting a person went all the way to germany learned german brought naturopathy back to india and it so happened during the same period mahatma gandhi also entered freedom struggle and it took strong roots as a fight for freedom and also freedom from disease so these basic principles helped indian naturopaths to penetrate into masses with the slogan that keep your body free from diseases and mahatma gandhi gave a call self reliance is possible only through self health reliance and self health reliance is possible only through nature cure and he saw that freedom from diseases and hospitals is the real freedom from slavery so to that extent indian naturopathy it has a strong connection with yoga fasting and pancha mahabhutas and these three things made indian naturopathy peculiar and it has a special status of naturopathy and in other countries where it simultaneously went to america and other countries from germany homeopathy herbalism acupuncture chiropractic and elemental therapies diet therapies all these things are also practiced but in india the strength of yoga fasting and pancha mahabhutas enhanced the scope of so i would stop here and we as naturopaths have a lot to offer whether or not covid but in keeping people's health status alive not only as a preventive but also as a promoter 
so we are not just talking about not having disease but also having wellness to look forward to a healthy tomorrow and a kicking tomorrow i think i'll stop here thank you thank you madam uh, i mean in fact uh, in a way we were expecting uh, these important essential principles of naturopathy uh, which though appears to be the conventional principles but you connected it so well with the present situation which is covid 19 whatever you have spoken uh, including for example we were looking at the primary cause uh, which is there in the soil which is in the body not as a germ it truly applies to a situation like covid because uh, today there are uh, millions of people getting exposed to uh, covid but there are only limited number of people who are uh, becoming positive and uh, in that also selected number of people are moving to uh, severe and extreme cases so there is a big role what naturopathy has spoken of the body and the immunity in uh, managing germs rather than germs managing or germs interfering with our function also about uh, something nice what you said was about uh, uh, importance of uh, social responsibility uh, when we are talking about social distancing you brought in the picture of uh, how uh, it is a multidisciplinary approach uh, which helps in uh, this facility and certainly when we talk of immunity vitality plays that important role which can uh, never be negated and uh, of course uh, the beauty was the history of naturopathy which you uh, uh, brought together one side uh, mahatma gandhi and the other side uh, uh, somebody learning it from uh, germany and bringing back and also its connection with other countries so uh, when we hear about the history of naturopathy uh, we have another person dr manavalan uh, he is uh, yet another person who comes with that very strong background of uh, uh, principles of naturopathy on one side on the second side he has put in all the efforts in converting uh, that knowledge into an application in the state of tamil nadu so you want to really see the applications most effectively in any state uh, it comes from tamil nadu uh, he is the principal he is the administrator governing uh, various committees in the ayush ministry ayush department over there he is there in several committees in uh, government of india as well so it's our privilege uh, to have uh, dr manavalan uh, one of the senior most naturopaths uh, so let us listen from dr manavalan about this concept of uh, increased increasing relevance of naturopathy at the time of covid 19 so whether we related to prevention or related to uh, the management dr manavalan please i have the slides of dr manavalan if i can share the uh, praveen dr manavalan hello yeah so uh, yeah. i am going to share your slides and yeah. uh, Once you complete one uh, slide, you please let me know. I will uh, move to the next slide. Yes, yes. Thank you. Are, are you able to hear? Yeah, we can hear you very clearly. Yeah, yeah. Good evening. Good evening to all. Uh, so, thanks. Uh, thanks for you know introduction. And uh, uh, this is regarding you know uh, the pandemic uh, situation now, uh, COVID nineteen. so people are really worried and you know it is becoming a day by day you know uh, uh, situation like uh, you know this a fear which creates a lot of complications so that's what we have observed and uh, first of all as a yoga and natural body system of medicine see we uh, what we thought is until unless we enter into the bubbly health and you know extend our uh, health services then uh, that would be the best you know uh, healthcare service to the uh, you know uh, public uh, where we can reach uh, you know the more uh, number of beneficiaries so that was my idea and from the beginning 
from the beginning my target was to uh, reach uh, you know uh, millions of people where we can uh, provide them service so the moment uh, we completed from you know hyderabad that is the mother institution for entire uh, i can say the even asian countries where naturopathy as yoga naturopathy has started so being that you know training from that college after completion of four and a half years uh, we when we came to uh, tamil nadu uh, you know we thought that yes the system of medicine should be entered into the mainstream in the public health until unless you reach the people Uh, the system is not going to be you know either known to the people or not useful to the public see we may i may practice as a naturopath i am practicing but uh, at xt my family can practice but how to reach the uh, public and how to reach the uh, people so by the that with the help of government of tamil nadu we could establish you know as a yoga naturopathy centers clinic medical college and you know uh, ipd uh, opd and slowly by seeing the response from the public uh, government of tamil nadu thought that i think this system should be the you know complement to uh, allopathic medical system that's what, that's what we entered that way see being a conventional uh, modern medicine or allopathic medicine so there the lifestyle diseases we entered into lifestyle diseases like ncd and all those areas so that's why we kept the name called yoga naturopathy lifestyle clinic so that was the coined by you know us and we recommended and our honorable chief minister of tamil nadu very much appreciated and we established all allopathic medical colleges of 21 medical college 31 district headquarters hospital 51 primary health centers so what i am saying is until unless you have human resource one side another side is a platform see after all to provide health services we need opportunity and we need a platform to do service so that is more important so by luckily by virtue of our you know government support and by our vision you know long long term vision it's not one day or two day it is a it is a matter of it has taken me for uh, you know uh, more than uh, 31 years of you know this you know uh, uh, establishing this level to bring to this level it has taken 30 more than 30 years so by now since we have every nook and corner we have uh, uh, bnws medical graduates and we have yoga naturopathy lifestyle clinics we have yoga naturopathy hospitals we have you know uh, more than 1500 uh, our own uh, the best bnws medical graduates uh, who are ready to serve and they are serving so based on this present situations present situation is really nobody knows what to do this is the real situation nobody knows what it is the people talk about covid 19 and it's a viral you know uh, pandemic but every day that concept is changed because it is, we are not able to you know concretely we are not able to say this is the reason or this is the uh, complications or this is the symptom or this is symptoms are changing patients complications are changing and one day they say it is a respiratory mostly respiratory problems and another day it is a because it is becoming you know uh, it is a clotting mechanisms or thrombosis Uh, other day they, they it, it is changing you know scenery is changing so in confused uh, situations in this uh, you know pandemic situations we thought allopathy you know allopathic uh, management see they, in that also there is no uh, you know full proof uh, protocol where we can say that yes uh, we can uh, cure or we can come out from this so based on that we thought we requested our government of tamil nadu yoga naturopathy system of medicine can complement can go along with the you know uh, our conventional allopathic uh, uh, medical system so based on our uh, recommendations please you can put a slide one by one uh, dr manjunath i am just you can put one by one slide so that i can just explain about it and i can finish off very short time so please put the first slide i would like to explain what activities is going on see this will be a helpful for our own you know uh, family members of yoga naturopathy medical system where our younger generation or middle generation or even senior most people who have uh, for them also it may be a, a useful for them to take further step or further guidance where we can you know we, uh, step uh, ne- next step uh, next level of uh, our you know uh, intervention so first slide please hmm. 
Yeah, you are in the introduction slide actually. Yeah. See here, the thing is, as I told you, as I told you, everybody knows now, everybody knows about, you know, uh, COVID-19 and it uh, causes and it is all complications and all those levels. But in which way we can, uh, you know, uh, we will be able to complement, we will be able to adjust. And uh, three areas we have selected, sir, actually. The March 3rd, the March 3rd was the, you know, uh, uh, our, uh, uh, you know, uh, eye opening saying that we will select the home quarantine people and quarantine area and also COVID patients. What is that? To improve our natural immunity, innate immunity. And that is the yoga part, yes, to reduce the stress. So we said stress buster program. We introduced that in every hospital. And also certain symptoms. See, when we are now, we are directly, we are, uh, you know, treating COVID uh, patients, managing COVID patients. So we, our, our doctors, our young doctors, BNOS medical graduates, they are entering into the COVID ward, COVID patients with all PPE protection on safety measures. And they could be able to see some mild symptoms. Most of the people are, you know, asymptomatic, but there are some mild symptoms and that to manage that. And also to come out from the problem. For example, instead of 14 days, why should we wait for 14 days? with our intervention, with our complement, that number of days is getting reduced and the quality of life, the stress level is coming down. So that way, we, we have uh, started interventions in three levels. One is COVID patients, one level, and healthcare providers. That is another, you know, uh, yeah, uh, COVID patients and healthcare providers. See, the thing is, today, Everybody is fear of life. Everybody is afraid to even uh, to reach the uh, COVID patients. So in this situation, in this situation, our own medical doctors, our own medical graduates, what we have done is we have trained them. We have motivated them. You know, we have conducted periodical motivational training, guidelines training, and we have covered almost nearly about 700 to 800 our yoga nature with the doctors and workers and hospital staff. So that way we have been able to, you know, motivate them. So why finally what we thought is we need to take consensus from among our, uh, our community. See, first of all, whatever we do in the system of medicine, yoga nature with the system of medicine, it cannot be one person or two person's views. It has to be combined, you know, collective assess. Then we have taken and more than 20 senior yoga naturopathy physicians who have experienced in public health, who have experienced in patient's care and academic side. And also, we thought we need to validate. See, that validation is also important, that, that, that hypothetical you know, assessment. So nearly we have approached about 200 yoga naturopathy qualified doctors. So that way, we could be able to say, this is the time limit. You know, we have, we, have, we have taken it. See, we have started, as I told you, 13th March, we have started. We were the first person to issue guidelines regarding yoga naturopathy as a general measures, preventive measures, management measures. So that was circulated to the state governments and Ministry of Values and Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. So they were the people who are really, you know, uh, reached, uh, received our thing. And then uh, this, this, you know, these basic preventive measures, promoting measures was accepted. Then that uh, with our Directorate of Indian Medicine Homeopathy, we have conducted different meetings. Then finally, Government of Tamil Nadu has issued government order. That is, that, that plan is called Arokiam. See, that is a beautiful, you know, a start. That Arokiam means, you know, the health, the real health, the true health, which our yoga naturopathy was a main component in that, along with all other our family members, Ayush members, intervention was included. And we could be able to motivate our doctors, you know, the, the, the day one of our COVID, you know, isolation, quarantine war in Tamil Nadu, till now, till this minute, our doctors are working in, inside the COVID ward and uh, treating the patients and uh, counseling the patients, and which is uh, the real need of the hour for our society and public. Next, next slide, sir. So, 
see we have given uh, here i have put you only you know uh, major you know interventions and uh, apart from our regular uh, principles and practices our lifestyle modifications so what we thought is see the here thing is here we need very 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 clear idea see we talk about the diet the diet is the uh, best medicine in this world either earlier today even tomorrow it is going to be the best uh, medicine it can never change so in that principle we have decided the dietary herbal you know the management so we have introduced one fresh you know uh, combo juice natural immune boosting juice and one natural immune boosting hard drink see how we selected these combinations this is everything is evidence based there is a every you know molecule everything every item which is mentioned here has got its own base it is like anti inflammatory anti viral and also it it some extent it helps to minimize immediate uh, response to the symptom for why i am saying is symptom because when they have a small sore throat or mild cough or uh, temper fever the moment we give uh, this type of uh, interventions we found that the patients are very comfortable and the patients have started feeling much much better and within 8 hours to 12 hours the patients have felt relieved relieved from the throat uh, you know mild uh, discomfort mild cough and all those it is practically is being recorded now we are recording uh, i will tell you later on what uh, clinical trial is going on as per the law as per the rules and regulation then yoga therapy see why we selected this yoga therapy this particularly certain areas see when we found with our you know hachodis with our experienced people each and every see yoga it is a very wide subject as medical yoga is confined to our life medical yoga is confined to our bnys you know life because no nobody other than bnys nobody is you know can very well you know authority to talk about the uh, medical yoga or yoga therapy so based on that we selected few uh, posters and few techniques and few pranayama techniques to uh, you know to combat to improve either their lung capacity to distress them and to improve their uh, you know vitality or improve their immune uh, you know immunity and to increase the you know <coughs> the level of today you know you they talk about t cells they talk about b cells and there is a you know uh, uh, other you know uh, uh, molecules cell cellular level function which is definitely will help this interventions next so apart from that a symptomatic see what we thought is it is a prevention management and rehabilitation so here this hot water gargling see after all you know the root of entry so far is found was either through nasal mucosa or through your uh, oral you know entry the mucus so most of the viral load mostly viral load is first entry level only the located either nasal uh, nasal mucosa membrane or the throat so we have that natural you know uh, uh, innate uh, immunity you know the the uh, barriers so here the moment it enters throat or nasal mucosa we are attacking there so we are trying to remove the viral load some extent from there itself so we are reducing the viral load by cleaning the irrigating the throat and also nasal mucosa so hot water gargling and steam inhalation through nose and uh, throat in that steam inhalation also by not simply only plain water we are also evidence based proved of certain essential oils as we are the authority of aromatherapy so that aromatherapy also brought into this and uh, you know very well sun bath see all of a sudden people are talked so especially when we reach, uh, we when we told about the vitamin d in the march 3rd that time when we said vitamin d is very much essential and it's a one part of major part of the immunity booster and prevention and management that time that was not much talk about that but today this past one week the, the vitamin d role of vitamin d is very much essential 
and calcium roll because the blood is clotting and thrombosis and all other area this is what so we we have much planned such a way that it is a holistic approach it is not that vitamin d or zinc or other vitamins multivitamins everything is essential so we need to approach as a whole you know as a you know earlier the speaker or respectable madam was talking about our principle and practice and basic fundamental that you know the the holistic approach unity of disease unity of cure that unity of approach so that way we have introduced sunbar and aromatherapy next next slide please next sir next slide yeah yeah based on this this is a government uh, you know order which see whatever intervention we need to do we, we are we are supposed to get the government approval and there by various committee formation of committee and intellectual discussions and you know based on that the government of tamil nadu issued a go government order for yoga naturopathy prevention and management in that order we have already requested that not only for prevention and management intervention we also want to see apart from our service we have clearly said that we also want to do clinical trial and clinical study so that see the documentation is very much required the problem with uh, uh, yoga naturopathy is the documentations we are talking more we are talking for the past 50 years the moment they from the 1970 the system evolved the system evolved and uh, from there we know the how to treat the patient we know how to prevent the patient we know the best practices in naturopathy yoga but definitely i should vouch that we fail to document we fail to you know the, the area of research so that way i must definitely you know uh, we we are very much uh, need of the hour for documentation and research is very much required whatever we do see we are doing excellent we are doing good work then today the whole world is looking to yoga and naturopathy system of medicine that's why everybody is thinking to take away something from at least from this system that means we are we are really proud that that means we are we are developing so that just that itself shows that we are have we are doing the best uh, you know services to the uh, public so here you know the, the the target groups see general public awareness distribution from 177 centers in tamil nadu it's not one two or three 177 centers where do the general public awareness distribution in each taluk each district each medical college and each primary health center by reaching the block then the screening and surveillance where our doctors are will screen and, and you know they take the, the containment zone the areas and isolated areas and special settings and people under quarantine so initially the march 3rd and the first week was very very pandemic sorry very very you know everybody was everybody was fear but today there is not that that is the today situation is not that situation that situation was very very serious people were afraid the fear but at that time our doctors have entered that we started doing the service that people under quarantine and covid 19 confirmed cases confirmed cases then covid 19 after see after the treatment the patients are very much see the fear is one which creates lot of problem where we have a major role yoga natural system has got major role by counseling them de stressing them stress busting them and making them as a whole person as a holistic person and balancing physically and mentally so that way when they discharge from the institutions then they are we are giving them rehabilitation process and we are putting them certain yoga videos we are giving them yoga videos we are giving them you know uh, uh, materials to follow them and next so these are the centers where we are you know yoga naturopathy uh, infrastructure is developed and where we are doing the uh, you know uh, services medical colleges hospitals taluk hospitals all those areas next and these are the things which we are uh, we are distributing the uh, natural juices immune boosting natural juices next uh, screening camps next 
and this are the area where the migrant was. See, this is the main area. I hope in India, I think in Tamil Nadu, we have started very early. The migrant laborers, they were the real, you know, pandemic situation and, you know, mental agony and they were this lot of stress because leaving the home place and leaving their relatives, they are staying somewhere else. And for them, we have provided yoga and naturopathy intervention to at least to make them happy and prevent them. So most of the people, I think none of them, the, the people who are then the migrant workers, we could able to give them the best health care. Next. This is a home quarantine. That is where we reach the home and we do the service. And we through uh, you know uh, counseling, through sharing our videos and sharing our materials. Next. And this is a hospital. See how beautiful our you know doctors, our BNOS graduates, with all the precaution measures. They are given the entire, uh, you know, precaution setup, the uh, PPE, you know, kits, and all those area where they go there, and they try to intervention of yoga, all other our naturopathy treatments, and all the patients are very happy. The moment then they started asking, we want yoga naturopathy doctor. This is the you know, this is the beauty of response from the public and patients. Even if one day our yoga naturopathy doctor doesn't speak with them, they revert back. They say we want the, our doctor. So this is the isolation ward, you know, all where the positive patients are staying and, you know, with all medical colleges, all district headquarters hospitals. Next. So these are the uh, juice. And not only juice, we also see they have plenty of time. See, all along they, they need to take rest. They need to take some treatment and they need to do yoga. Then we thought that not only juice, not only providing them, we have also given them as a whole fruit, as a whole, for example, gooseberry. We have given, so whenever they get time, they can just chew it. They can drink juice. And we have also provided them tailor-made immunity boosting naturopathic diet. And we also insisted them to drink plenty of water, to drink pl plenty of water, at least uh, four liters of water for normal uh, parameter people. If they are devoid of heart attack, heart problems or renal problems, so we are able to, you know, uh, give them four liters of water. So uh, it's a detoxification method and washing out the free radicals and cleaning the system and improving the vitality and purifying the blood and lymph, all those areas. These are the fresh juice. Next. So these are beautifully, you know, all COVID positive patients, they are taking sun bath with yoga, meditation, relaxation. Next. So this, you know, we, wherever possible, wherever possible, we are utilizing full, fully the services and providing them. And these are the healthcare providers. See, another beautiful area is, see, not only treating the patients, we need clinic for clinic, clinic to clinic, because to maintain healthcare providers, for them, we need to provide our services so that the more efficiently, more freely, with more immunity, they go and so the patients. Here we have, these are these few samples, for example, aromatherapy, oil, you know, we just provide them, the aroma essential oils, and we provide them uh, fruit salads, and we give them juice, fresh juice, and we also made, government of Tamil Nadu has given that natural, you know, immune boosting uh, powder, which is our, our own uh, medical corporations, the Tom call is the medicinal preparation corporations, where with the quality products, our doctors will check the quality and they prepare and they distribute each and every patients. That is the name of natural immune boosting. So here, this is the, you know, yoga naturopathy in COVID strategy. This is only a sample statistics. Uh, we need to share more. This is only we have taken, you know, short time was there. So with, uh, you know, May month, you know, uh, last uh, few days, we have taken uh, statistics and the statistics shows that, you know, very, encouraging uh, in the services so we will be able to share you you know more you know uh, final things in uh, time comes and another beautiful uh, breakthrough in india the first time in india especially in ayush ayush we i am very proudly say that it's a clinical trial the clinical trial we are conducting in, in various medical colleges like omundurar medical college hospital 
Stanley Medical College hospitals and all other medical colleges hospitals by getting you know institutional ethical committee clearance uh, from that institution and also uh, either the ICMR CTRI uh, you know registered clinical registration we could able to complete and we have started uh, you know recruiting uh, patients uh, recruiting samples and I hope uh, this will definitely uh, bring out you know uh, bring out a good result and uh, more than that uh, you know uh, services which you know our services as yoga and exercise system of medicine because the, the aim is to provide health services in public health where the system can stand because the, the, if you want to be a system of medicine then definitely we need to mainstream our system into the uh, you know uh, public health so that's what uh, we have done in uh, state of tamil nadu with the help of our government of tamil nadu if not government of tamil nadu support we are not able to do anything so it is a fully you know uh, supported funded and full wholeheartedly our government by seeing our services and seeing the public uh, response and seeing the public you know demand see ultimately sir what i want to request is we 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 are doing research we are doing academic work we are doing clinical services all this area is okay good but the more important is public demand see the public demand is ultimately going to decide about our existence so that's what we have created today the state of tamil nadu even if i i cannot sleep even if i sit quiet people will not allow me to see quiet so that situation is the people demand now people demand for my doctors yoga and surgery doctors bnu is graduates so that's where we are, you know we could able to uh, reach but only thing is uh, I, i i want to request all our you know younger graduates all our upcoming uh, doctors uh, in, the, in the in the family of yoga and naturopathy system of medicine commit yourself commit yourself dedicate yourself and try to serve the public more populations don't confine to one particular pocket so that will be remain that will remain even 50 years that will remain in there only but let us think out of box let us think out of way so that we could able to reach i i i i request i requested many times our graduates and i request, this this setup this model should be implemented all over india tamil nadu is not sufficient sir because we have a graduates of more than 10000 12000 graduates all over india i find every bnos graduate is highly potential highly potential yeah, i can even i cannot compare so the such a people we have so please you know this model should be taken to all the state all the state without any mental block that's what i want to uh, clearly tell because if there is any block break the block we need, we cannot uh, you know wait for the uh, time so let us take march forward and try to implement all the states so th this is a small you know presentation uh, so this may be a helpful for many people what we could do is 0.001% so we need to do more and let us try and let us hope the best uh, in the future and thank you very much for given me this opportunity luckily i could able to a uh, little away from meeting and all i i was little worried about that because giving i never gave my name to any program because the moment i give name i may not be there in that so that may be the situation so this time this manjunath was very much you know uh, they were telling your name sir because of your name i could able to come this time thank so you. anyhow thank uh, thank you very much for this organization uh, for giving me this opportunity i think this will be the and we will work together we will work together as a yoga natural body community and family and let us uh, let us you know do service so thank you thank you very much thank you thank you dr manavalan <clears throat> i mean uh, it's uh, really a sort of an eye opener for many i am sure those who are attending today because nobody has expected so much of work has been done on covid using yoga and naturopathy that's why we want uh, each one of you to come on to platforms like this and to really uh, make uh, the next generation understand uh, what exactly is uh, uh, the <clears throat> actually the probable uh, curve for them to follow uh, we were really happy because you brought in a totally new dimension into the discussion today about public health because uh, i know uh, in any forum wherever i have heard you talking 
uh, you have brought in the public health issues uh, uh, in upfront and uh, you have also provided the solutions to manage them and what also uh, attracted my attention was uh, uh, the establishment of lifestyle clinics in uh, tamil nadu uh, probably there are many things which can be replicated across uh, the country looking at uh, tamil nadu model uh, lifestyle clinic is one of them for sure uh, as uh, this has a uh, lots to pick from uh, naturopathy and yoga and you said in uh, such a nice way that uh, we have to play a wonderful integrative and complementary role okay and also it has to be evidence based uh, and uh, so nice to see that illustration of uh, how you have brought in uh, this into action during this covid uh, i was actually thinking in between that uh, uh, because we thought we will have 10 10 minutes presentation and we'll get back i was so tempted to not to stop you because each and every point and each and every uh, of those images which you are showing i was sure that are going to be uh, very valuable information for our uh, viewers today uh, thank you very much but i would request you to be uh, available for some more time we close by 6:30 because we have two more uh, eminent personality to speak and at the end there are many questions posed based on your presentations i would like to pick yeah. questions uh, in the yeah, end yeah. Uh, before yeah. we close so now i uh, have the privilege of uh, calling upon dr prashant shetty uh, as all of you know like we heard from uh, uh, dr satyalakshmi and dr uh, manavalan so uh, on one front uh, these are the legends in the field as uh, they have created uh, that required standards and directions for the field so on the other side we have dr uh, prashant shetty and dr raghavendra rao dr prashant shetty is uh, yet another example for uh, somebody who has created uh, those milestones which yoga and naturopathy uh, practitioners and the field itself can follow for long uh, dr prashant shetty not just as the principal of sdm he is also uh, the general secretary of uh, enigma and he is behind most of the activities which goes on uh, as part of naturopathy upliftment programs and involving government and private sector so it's our privilege to have dr prashant shetty here today request dr prashant shetty to share your views on this whole concept of uh, increasing relevance of yoga and naturopathy during the covid era dr prashant shetty please thank you dr manjunath for your appreciating word uh, words on me and i also th thank the um, our pravin prabhakar who has arranged this whole show from all these days and with great risk he has taken to organize this and because of this naturopathy and yoga has given good publicity all over the world and dr manjunath being a moderator for this i am seeing all this program and this has given a good shape to the system and not only in the country and in the international arena so i am very much thankful to your organization and dr manjuna and coming to the naturopathy and yoga so naturopathy and yoga is being a, a drugless system of medicine so usually it is called healing is within so healing is within itself is encouraging world to prevent the or cure the covid covid 19 because covid 19 you know it is based on the mainly the immunity of the person is playing with the immunity of the person as we know um, uh, reaching to the concept of naturopathy or naturopathy philosophy always says body heals itself meaning meaning itself meaning is so because of the toxicity inside the body is the cause for the disease so it is also said that the toxicity is the cause for the disease so that toxicity has to be eliminated then we will get the complete relief from the disease so that's why can i put the slides
so in healthcare system it is divided as drug system and the drugless system so this is a drug system and next so this is a drugless system so what we say is so imbalance of the panchama bhutas are leading to the impaired functions of our eliminative organs i said clearly because of the accumulation of the toxicity in the body is the cause for the disease so these are the stages where the first is impaired functions of the eliminative organs we have four eliminative organs so the always this eliminative organs are eliminating the toxins and making the body pure and uh, like Oh, very uh, active and second is the once there is a impaired function of the eliminative organs there is abnormal composition of blood and limb then accumulation of the morbid matter this is the third stage because whenever there is a elimination is blocked then it causes the abnormal composition of the blood and limb then leads to the accumulation of the morbid matter that leads to the disease so this is the very concept of naturopathy so this concept is very much related to the today scenario of covid 19 because covid 19 we have seen all these days and the world scenario is showing now wherever there is a uh, immunity is less wherever there is a problem in the immunity, uh, immunity especially that uh, deficiency of all this immunity in the body those people only getting this disease so we have seen like all, uh, always our government uh, state and central government has cautioning us so people who are suffering from the diabetes people who are on drugs people who are on wrong medication people who are on this degenerative diseases they are more prone for this disease why it is so so naturopaths from the, the about 100 years back they have proved this immunity is the cause for the disease the vitality if there is a lack of vitality that leads to the disease that they have given very precisely from the last 100 years so that shows what that is the immunity is the cause for this problem or the disease so so we can increase the immunity by improving the our diet and nutrition improving the immunity through yoga improving the immunity through our lifestyle so lifestyle correction is very much important in treating this covid 19 so i am telling all this through this Uh, delegation so we have to correct our immunity through our lifestyle so lifestyle if you are correcting then you can achieve the immunity and so that you can control all this this is prevent control and rehabilitate rehabilitate the covid 19 yeah that was uh, the most precise and uh, brisk way of presenting what naturopathy is uh, dr prashant and i think uh, we always uh, try explaining uh, the principles of medicine in a lot of elaboration but finally when you look at the fundamental prim- principles remain as the fundamental principles so if you really work on those fundamental principles like what you have mentioned today Uh, for naturopathy probably we have answered all the questions uh, that's what the answer you have given and uh, particularly uh, what we are talking about today about the toxicity and vitality and of course uh, the underlying principles behind them uh, i know in particular uh, at sdm uh, hospital in uh, dharmasala uh, for ages Uh, it's been a regular practice that you use these principles of elimination principles of uh, uh, reconstruction and pre- principles of rehabilitation uh, people have come with such severe conditions and they have gone back uh, hale and healthy so that's way working on the principles plays a major role the message given by you uh, i have lots of que- few questions to ask you uh, to uh, understand uh, these the principles in detail 
and now i would like to uh, invite dr raghavendra rao uh, i have kept dr raghavendra rao with an intention not that uh, for any other reason that uh, he is uh, in the panel uh, uh, one of those uh, uh, <coughs> researchers uh, who has spent all his life uh, doing research and now sitting as an administrator heading a research council uh, related to yoga and naturopathy dr raghavendra rao uh, has uh, uh, his specialty into integrative oncology and uh, he is uh, uh, his doctorate is also on the same subject he has actually seen both sides of research like traditional medicine research as well as conventional research working in one of the premier institutions called uh, healthcare global an oncology institution so uh, we have i have two questions to you dr uh, raghavendra as you uh, give your opinion number one uh, your perspective as a natural yoga and naturopathy practitioner and researcher and number two your perspective as an administrator dr raghavendra rao please Uh, thank you, Dr. Manjunath, uh, for your crisp uh, introduction, and uh, thank you. Good evening, everybody, and uh, happy to be here again uh, in the second of this uh, second series of the seminar, and uh, share my views on this topic on immunity and COVID, as well as especially on uh, regard to yoga and naturopathy. Uh, first, uh, as Dr. Manjunath put it, I'm going to talk about what, you know, what yoga and naturopathy can do in COVID-19 as a researcher, and where we are, and what is it that we need to do. very important here is if you guys have heard in the last two months a lot of uh, zing is going on with regard to the word immunity so everybody talks about saying that improve your immunity you won't get covid improve your immunity you won't get covid improve immunity you will never get this infection and uh, people are trying to sell kadas sell drugs sell medicine sell what not in the name of immunity but it's very important to understand what you mean by immunity and what do you mean by immunity with relation to covid-19 or sars cov2 virus and how does sars cov2 a very, very infectious kind of a pathogen affect all our lives and what is it what is it that we can do to be away from it so as you understood the various advisories of the government you have found not a single advisory which says that we can cure sars cov2 there is not a single advisory which says that improve immunity is also going to prevent you from getting sars cov2 this is again a very important statement i am making why for this reason is only one way you cannot prevent yourself from contracting a disease is by staying away from it having social distancing having proper hygiene hand hygiene norms and trying to be as safe as possible from any sort of contact with any infectious person so why why i am saying this is once the organism enters your body or enters your mucosal defense systems especially in the oral cavity or in your nasal cavity or in your eyes then it triggers off an immune response okay so the immune response it triggers off in such a way that the, the immune system may be overwhelmed and because of the immune system which is then persisting throughout for some period of time it can lead to a unpleasant symptoms which we call them as sickness behavior like you have loss of appetite loss of smell you have fever you have chills you have sore throat you have cough and in more severe cases you also have breathlessness and you also have pneumonia so what is this happening here is whenever there is a pathogen we know why we call it as a pathogen in the sense any protein which is capable of evoking a one immune res response is called as a antigen but anything which is causing a disease or a distressing symptom like this is called a pathogen because it causes damage to the organ systems in the body now if you want to talk about immune defenses in the local areas especially the saliva you have the lysosomes in the saliva you have the ph in the saliva the ph in the saliva doesn't do anything with viruses okay it is more useful for bacterial colony but nothing to do with viruses uh, whereas you also have what is called beta 2 defense in it is a complement system it is activated by the secret uh, glandular cells and uh, these glandular epithelial cells secret this beta 2 defense in which can also bind to the viruses and inactivate those viruses as well and you have the secretory iga levels immunoglobulin a levels which can also bind to the Virus and also help in preventing its transmission or neutralizing the virus where where it is coming from. That being the case, you still see a lot of people having contracted this infection. So it shows goes on to show that this uh, virus, 
the was the structure of the virus is such that it has got so many spike proteins and even when there is a defensive mechanism occurring against the virus these spikes are released and these can go bind to other antigen sites and start triggering an immune response that's what people are told about it it's like a small ball with so many spikes on its surface so all these spikes are nothing but armaments these are antigens which can evoke an immune response and the problem here is your immune response itself okay if this immune response is prolonged is unchecked and it can be very damaging to your tissues it can cause vasculitis it can cause pneumonia it can cause sore throat it can cause various other disorders it can cause myocarditis and you see people die out of myocarditis dying out of pneumonia dying out of multiple organ failure dying out of vasculitis kind of symptoms and thrombosis and dvt as well okay so all these are reactive in nature your antibodies been produced against the viral antigen and these antibodies are also auto antibodies and they also go and damage the uh, vascular tissues inside your body what is the uh, uniqueness of this particular virus is that these antigens go and attack the ac inhibitors ac receptors on the cells angiotensin angiotensin converting enzyme receptors these are present in abundance in almost all the tissues inside the body as well as in the vasculature and that is where the damage occurs okay and uh, they are trying to find out the autoimmune phenomena of this disease they have found out that it can cause autoimmune vasculitis the kawasaki disease also it has been seen in the patients who have been uh, affected with uh, sars cov 2 virus so when you say immunity it means to understand that there is an immune response against the virus trying to kill the virus the three things the immune system can do kill the virus contain the virus prevent its replication or succumb to the virus these are three things okay so if your immunity is quite good enough then it is not going to overwhelm it will overwhelm the virus and kill it you may be asymptomatic you may just escape with that but if your immunity is not so good enough then you have a you are in your bad luck and you can uh, have a prolonged inflammation you can have damage of the organ systems in the body and you'll end up in the hospital so having said that what is required to be done in this case it's very important to understand uh, how does the viral pathogen work with respect to immune response what does it do it produces most of unfolded proteins basically so there are two ways in which a pathogen acts on your immune response one is it produces unfolded proteins there is a virus which do that predominantly then the bacteria it produces reactive oxygen species so both of them go attack the cells sit on the cells and damage the cells they trigger the endoplasmic reticulum they trigger the mitochondrial proteins then trigger the automatic cell death or apoptosis we call them as or in the other in the other event it can also cause a prolonged line of inflammation bring immune cells to the particular cell once the cell damage occurs you have inflammation in that particular site you have ivf and gamma you have nk cells you have t lymphocytes your b lymphocytes everything coming to the site to contain the virus kill the virus so you know as spy has come into the they come across the border a terrorist has come across the border and you are sending a regiment of army there to contain that particular terrorist and this is what the immune system is doing and you may have a collateral damage while doing so okay you may have a collateral damage while doing so you may have fibrosis of the lungs you may have lung disease you may have a pneumonia you have vasculitis etc and god forbid if you are if you are able to come out of this survive okay this is very important having said all this now we are trying to see how does yoga play a role in this case how does naturopathy play a role in this case and i have been talking to various people in the hospitals and ascertaining what can be done in this uh, population and initially we had some cold response let me tell you when i went and talked to them we had a cold response uh, when we started talking using yoga intervention using naturopathy intervention in uh, aims in rml etc then um, i said let us go and let, let us talk to the uh, the patients and i visited few hospitals talked to patients and i was seeing something which is very shocking patients patients are just sitting lonely in isolated in a room not doing anything they are not even allowed with the mobiles okay not a mobile also is not allowed the nurses come and put their foot tray outside the door of the isolation room and they have to be just sit all along themselves in a room which is about 6 10 uh, by 10 or 10 by 5 and uh, just like a solitary confinement just like a jail term for you the quality is okay and that's creating a lot of isolation anxiety in these people Okay, imagine not to do anything, sitting there, not able to do anything, just eating food, time run down there. Somebody calling you on a phone, on 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 a on a speaker phone, or coming to the door and then talking to you, wearing a completely PPE mask as a mannequin, okay, and nothing else. So I spoke to some of the educated people, and they said it was really a horrifying thing, and they were just waiting to come out of this place. 
Then I also asked them what could be done to help them. They said, can yoga be useful? I was asking. And they were all very happy with that. They said, let us start doing yoga. Okay. And in fact, uh, we talked to the doctors and said, whether can the mobiles be allowed into the wards? And uh, there was a discussion among their own team itself, the psychiatrists, everybody. And they all felt that the mobile should be allowed. And once they come out of the ward, after the isolation unit, the mobiles can be disinfected as per the protocol. And afterwards, they allowed the mobiles there. And we started also started out giving relaxation techniques using yoga interventions. And we found out over 10 patients we did this. And many of them had good sleep in the night. Okay, They were able to sleep well in the night with small relaxation techniques. So now we are starting a big uh, study where we trying to use yoga intervention in these settings using a mobile-based yoga intervention because you have patients in isolated rooms, not in a very large room, and all of them are put in the same room here. So you have patients of different severity, you have mild patient cases, and you have moderate cases where they also have dyspnea as well. And uh, we got I think somebody approved today from Ames Rishikesh, and um, PJEs have been admitted this week. We are going to be getting the, uh, uh, shortly the uh, approval from the RML hospital as well. We are good to go and we are starting a very big study where we are trying to use yoga intervention and the SVR source has given some protocols on which we are going to use it on the patients and see how we can uh, see patients come out of this particular predicament, how can we reduce isolation anxiety, how can we reduce symptomatology in these patients using a yoga intervention basically. Now this is as far as research is concerned and we have had about six different surveys we are doing on COVID-19, related to COVID-19, we are doing uh, surveys in cancer patients, we are doing surveys in the geriatric population, and there's a, a nationwide survey going about myths about COVID. And uh, now uh, we have also started something to do a survey on patients who undergone an Ashpati intervention uh, for the last six months and trying to see what is the sedentariness and what is the physical inactivity which is happening in these patients. Are they able to cope with the lockdown situation? Because what I'm seeing here is we are seeing people are uh, eating a lot of junk food in this lockdown, not having a healthy lifestyle in this lockdown. You've seen people getting gaining more weight in the lockdown and pe people being more sedentary in their house because of the lockdown. So we are trying to see whether using a yoga and a intervention or education program given to these patients earlier, were these people better off in managing these lockdown symptoms or not, lockdown effect or not we are seeing. That is one aspect. And uh, coming to my role as administrator, uh, being a part of the government, uh, it is important to see that there are different systems in uh, the Ministry of Ayush. We have the Ayurveda, we have the Yoga Nashpati, you have the Unani, you have the Siddha and Homeopathy. Uh, for some reason, the Yoga Nashpati is not considered as on par with other systems of medicine by them. They say you are a regular system of medicine and they are keeping it as slightly apart. And you can see those kind of things even in the uh, literature, in the literatures and the leaflets of the Ministry of Ayush. But uh, nevertheless, what I am seeing today is Whatever we have been advising, advocating in our guidelines, we are trying to take the uh, uh, taking of lemon juice, taking of salt water, gargling, doing the stimulation, doing aromatherapy, or uh, taking about ginger, kashayam, whatever it is we have talked about as one of the guidelines. Ultimately, they have dumped all the medications and other things which they wanted to do on this because they found that they can't do these interventions on the patients. And now they are all taking, embracing only our advisory. Okay. All they are talking today is to use, to do, or take ginger kashayam, to do the gargle, as well as to do pranayama and yoga. Okay. So ultimately, it's, our own intervention has come to the forefront, though we don't have a name. So we're still being very popular and uh, being, being used by everybody here. And uh, the only thing is we need to make it, make it very clear to them that we are using an Ashpati intervention, not Ayurvedic intervention. This is very, very important for us to understand. So when you talk about it, go and say we are doing yoga and Ashpati intervention. And uh, we are trying to do that. And fortunately, let me tell you again, even in the modern medical system like AIMS, RML, there were Ayurvedic uh, doctors who approached them for doing Ayurveda intervention. It was all turned down. Okay. So I think we are the only in the, uh, people to get the uh, space inside AIMS, Rishikesh, for doing a study using yoga intervention in these patients. So Ayurveda, Siddha, Yunani, Homeopathy was never approved. And uh, they are doing these studies in some of the hospitals and some of the their own centers, and uh, to have some sort of footing in the modern medical system where we are trying to integrate our approaches. That is our strength. Let me tell you, that is our strength, and we have to capitalize on this and show what we can do with this. I'm very happy that Manavalan has already started doing some work with uh, patients there, and a lot of research is also happening there with Chandrasekhar and team there, and the PHFA also roping in the, in that particular place. And uh, with this multi-institutional collaborations, 
uh, we can really make a change in our system. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Raghavendra. <clears throat> I mean, we are coming uh, uh, almost to the last part of our uh, today's webinar, but I can't let you people go without answering few questions because there are uh, questions being poured over here and uh, I am receiving uh, uh, these questions independently. Uh, I know we might extend uh, by another five minutes, but uh, please bear with us because uh, these are very important because today has been an amazing day. We had four people presenting different dimensions of yoga and naturopathy and bringing its relevance to COVID uh, in particular. And at the same time, touching upon those issues, uh, though it was not sounding I mean, related to uh, COVID, but they have answered some of these questions which uh, our viewers were uh, uh, asking. One particular question, I am sure I can see there are a good number of principals of naturopathy colleges present today. Uh, uh, it's a welcome sign. I see so many students of naturopathy attending today's webinar. I see so many practitioners attending uh, today's webinar. Uh, but there is one common question being asked. Uh, you said, Dr. Raghavendra, about uh, the kind of uh, identification, identity given to yoga and naturopathy. So there is one common question being asked. What is the future of yoga and naturopathy if we are facing an identity crisis? I know I am opening a Pandora's box, so I should not be doing it. But uh, it requires a kind of, a kind of an, uh, um, supporting statement from such legendary uh, people present today as panelists to give a confidence to these colleges who are running uh, these uh, uh, hospitals as well as uh, bringing out new uh, naturopathy graduates. So request uh, Satya Lakshmi Madam uh, to give your perspective of the future of yoga and naturopathy because you hold uh, one of the premier institutions, National Institute of Naturopathy. Uh, Satya Lakshmi Madam, very quickly, maybe uh, one minute. This is like a uh, last take-home message uh, from each one of you. Satya Lakshmi, Madam, please. Yeah, I think uh, naturopathy has the brightest future. And I would say that I am in the field for more than 35 years now. I have never seen uh, such a good time as we are seeing today. And people are accepting naturopathy. And uh, there are so many components that have become so uh, easily acceptable, particularly the diet aspect, the exercise aspect of it. And thanks to uh, the limitations that are coming up uh, uh, widely, openly, uh, with regard to conventional medicine and all medicines put together for that matter, people are relying on you know, self-health reliance techniques and only naturopathy can offer. And we are the people, we are not only doctors, we can be teachers and mentors and philosophers and, and handhold people throughout their lives, wherever they are. So I think we have the brightest future, never to feel let down. Nobody can do it. System has the intrinsic strength in it. And we have to uphold it. Thank, Thank you. you. Probably that will give all that what is needed encouragement for uh, the youngsters who are looking forward to make a wonderful life out of yoga and naturopathy. Uh, because uh, as I mentioned, there are few places and NIN is, NIN is one of them where you should go and see uh, naturopathy in practice. Okay, because uh, the number of outpatient uh, uh, clinics being run and number of people who utilize these facilities give you that kind of an uh, uh, encouragement. And at the same time, uh, I have received so many uh, words of appreciation uh, to uh, Dr. Manavalan for the kind of work what has gone in Tamil Nadu, uh, particularly at the time of COVID-19. And of course, you have created many more such uh, uh, models uh, which have been implemented in uh, uh, Tamil Nadu. So if you want to give one message from Tamil Nadu to the rest of India, what is that you want to give Dr. Manavalan? Do I have uh, Dr. Manavalan with us here? 
Hello, are you able to hear? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Please give your message, which uh, can yeah. be actually uh, made uh, uh, pan India. Yeah, yeah, really. You know, this is something like uh, we are growing. Uh, definitely, we are growing, and there is a very good demand for yoga and natural system of medicine. And every public, every family, every individual needs this system of medicine. So as we, the, uh, we, uh, the yoga natural with the community, it is in our hand to take this to the people and public. So entire uh, India, the entire globe is definitely will take our services. The only thing is two points I want to tell you, all our graduates, all our BNYS family. First of all, we need to have our own identity. See, that's what that people are talking about, identity, yes. I should say that I am BNYS graduate. I am yoga and naturopathy doctor. I am yoga and naturopathy system of medicine. Because my our own graduates, our own people, they talk sometimes naturopathy, sometimes yoga, sometimes both. Sometimes they don't even talk about the system. So that, that's what I want to tell you. And another thing is, one more thing I want to tell you, sir. Even though we are working, this, this system existed more than you know, more than hundreds, more than hundreds years. The academically, it is existed more than 50 years. But only thing is, because of certain areas where the identity is is a little bit, little bit is, you know, is a purposefully being a sign line. Otherwise, there is no issue. We will, we will survive and we will develop and we will show to the whole world because yeah, one cannot press all the time, all the time and every time. So the truth has to come out one day or the other day. So yoga and natural equity is definitely will, uh, it is a good system, will develop as far as our uh, experience based. And one point I want to make all my graduates, please never use the drugless system is correct. The meaning of drugless system those days was the chemical drug. Because the people are not able to understand what is the difference between drug and medicine. So that is the only problem created, created this all of the you know mess. So we need not have any confusion. The drug is chemical-based drug. Natural body doesn't use chemical-based drug. So that point we have to be very clear. If a person purposefully doesn't understand what is the difference of drug and what is the difference of medicine, then there is no medicine for that fellow. We will correct such a people with our you know with our work. See, our work should speak. Rather than, you know, telling others, our work will speak. So let us spread this work to the entire uh, uh, state. So there, we need not worry about our identity. We have the best identity, best service. And uh, the thing is, let us earmark our service to the public. The public demand come. I'll tell you, finally, I'll take only 10 seconds, sir. See, I'll tell you one example. In the state of Tamil Nadu, no other than medical graduate, that is yoga and naturopathy doctor cannot enter in the services of yoga and natural system of medicine. Either yoga teacher cannot do their service or cannot even so-called, you know, uh, experienced, uh, all those people, they cannot do their services. Only our graduate who has studied that particular system only can provide the service to them. So I request our uh, kind, this is the platform where I can also request uh, the Ministry of Ayush, because why I'm saying is, even though they have not given guidelines, even though they have not included yoga and naturopathy, even though they said that yoga and naturopathy is not, you know, uh, uh, you know what, whatever it is, whatever the meaning they, they said, but uh, as uh, earlier our director of uh, CCRON was telling that, you know, all the guidelines, you know, sir, March 3rd, we have sent the guidelines. The same guidelines was released in 16th. So anyhow, it is a, it is a threat for some people. So that means where there is a threat, we are growing, sir. We are growing. So yeah. definitely it's a positive sign. It is a positive sign. We will succeed. As a one family, a whole India, we will succeed. So thank you. Thank you very much for this very, opportunity. Very, very, yes, Any sir. other question I can answer. Thank you. Very well, Dr. Manolan. And uh, I, I have to say on behalf of many viewers, many congratulations to you uh, for the kind of work what you have done. And Dr. Prashant Shetty, it's always been a question for many people. What actually uh, pushes you to be so mad about the system? Because I know uh, you don't sleep 
if there is a problem with the system you don't eat if there is a problem with the system you are so mad with working for the system uh, probably what is that motivation which always keeps you on your toes to work for the system as your message for our youngsters dr prashant shetty <clears throat> dr manjunath very much uh, appreciation to you to telling about my views so my important message to all of them is so being a naturopath being a yoga and naturopathy graduates either mds or the bnns so they should be placed well in the country and abroad that is my first aim and objective so on that basis we are working on that lines and recently you know another the i am seeking the government opinion uh, for this so specially so where you talked about identity you talked about identity so identity is required for each and every individual so as dr raghavendra rao said clearly where we are using we are using all naturopathy treatments yoga treatment in the covid 19 almost all but we don't have identity so for that identity we have worked from last two years to have the separate commission or it should be included in the national commission for indian systems of medicine right very much and but it's not included but still uh, they have promised us that they will have a separate commission for yoga and naturopathy that should be implemented so that all our graduates will take the get the good placement and good identity so that it will be standard for the naturopathy system of yoga and another thing i want to tell clearly because all our association members of yoga and naturopathy all over the country we made uh, that all rajya sabha member during the last parliamentary session they with one voice they said yoga and naturopathy is very much required recognition is required for this system in the country so that has been very well made a sound in the this one so i think in the next parliamentary session Uh, uh, we are going to consider by the government and we will get it done so that all our national commission so that it will be useful to the all the graduates of the country this is what i meant uh, dr prashant your uh, madness about the system so when the whole world is uh, uh, worried about covid you still think about the system that how to protect it for next uh, 10 generations maybe so that's the spirit which we want each and every youngster to carry forward because people come and go it is the systems which leave and systems which provide that life to the individual uh, dr raghavendra rao uh, we know uh, you have contributed extraordinarily but if that one message you want to give it to our viewers in uh, just uh, one minute please uh, share with us what is that you want to say i think we need to continue doing a good work what we are doing get the public uh, appreciation for our work let people start telling that they need yoga and naturopathy that's very really important once that wave is triggered up i don't think there's nobody anybody can stop us another thing is don't feel bad about i, I keep getting a lot of mails i keep getting a lot of phone calls and a lot of whatsapp messages I mean, you might have seen me that i'm not reacting to any of them because i can't react because i'm in this office and um, very important to tell you is that we are doing what has to be done and we are trying to see what can be corrected right there are a lot of wrongs which have happened in the administration of ccry and itself as well as the ministry itself whatever it is for the, the last the past several, several years and it will take some time to correct all these wrongs and uh, if you have this proper vision of what we want to do and what the system has to what the direction the system has to take i don't think there's anybody who can stop us let me tell you that and uh, in fact ministry of ayush is in fact very positive that we are doing some research in ccr when today because the thing was happening before and now that they are think that we are doing some change we are doing some sort of research in the field of yoga and other things they have been very supportive as well so i think uh, we, should, we should be able to change the mindset and uh, we should be able to win over them that's what i think we can do thank you thank you dr agvendra i mean we have overshot uh, today's session by 12 minutes Uh, thank you for uh, such a great support given i request uh, mukesh ji to give the closing remarks thank you very much for your patience and uh, listening to all of us i know uh, many areas may be quite uh, different for you but uh, you are the people 
who are actually giving that direction, including Rakesh Ji, I, whom I remember very frequently. Uh, Mukesh Ji, for your uh, quick closing remarks, please. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Vanjunath. Uh, really appreciable. And, uh, uh, you know, we really thank you for giving your valuable time and uh, uplifting the Ayur Yoga Expo, uh, then assembly on Ayurveda, Yoga and Naturopathy to the next level this year. Your integrated and scientific approach is fundamental to this expo. Thank you so much, Dr. Raghavindra Rao, for your valuable time. CCRYN, an apex body of yoga and naturopathy in India, will take forward the research in this field under your guidance and leadership. Thank you, Professor uh, Dr. Satya Lakshmi, for your presence and making all the efforts uh, uh, to take forward the legacy of uh, uh, our legendary Mahatma Gandhi. Your advice on fighting any bacteria or virus uh, from within the body by enhancing the immunity is so true. Also, we sincerely thank uh, Dr. Manavlan uh, for working so hard during the corona pandemic in Tamil Nadu. It was really heartening to see the amount of work which was done. Uh, and that supported the already strained medical infra, uh, which is completely unbelievable. Also the contribution of yoga and naturopathy in recovering the patients uh, in, uh, in the fastest possible manner was very heartening. Thank you so much, Dr. Prashant Shetty for being with us from very first edition of Ayur Yoga Expo. Uh, your sharing of knowledge on uh, Panch Bhuta is extremely appreciated. Though, uh, as Dr. Manjunath also said, it probably needs a much uh, an elaborate discussion with you to understand the concept better. I would also like to thank uh, the Indian Naturopathy and Yoga Graduates Medical Association, SUISA, uh, SDM College of Naturopathy and Yogic Sciences, Subharthi College of Naturopathy and Yogic Sciences, GSS College, Elvers College, Excel Medical College of Naturopathy and Yogic Sciences, and Sant Hiridham Medical College. Once again, thank you, Dr. Manjunath, for all uh, and all our eminent panelists for enlightening us on the today's topic of increased relevance of yoga and naturopathy in today's very scary environment of COVID-19 spread. Namaskar. Be safe. Thank, Thank you again. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Mukesh ji, I have to place on record the contributions of, uh, the behind the screen contributions of uh, Raveen ji, Niranjan ji, Tushar ji, and many more. Uh, because these are the people who are actually doing all that what is needed for putting up this wonderful show every Saturday evening. Thanks everyone. Uh, once again, yes. thank all the senior most panelists present today. You have really enlightened the many more. And uh, thank you very much. All you have actually made this whole program participating. Close the session at the end of Please join me in thanking Survey Bound to Super. Thank you. Sarve Bhavantu Sukhira Sarve Sancho Nidamana Sarve Vatrani Pashyantu Mahapashkita Sukha Bhavantu Om Shanti Thank you very much and we will see you next Saturday with a new topic. Uh, to really put a thought for our brain and thought for our heart. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.